What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 95 of Dropouts. Today, we are here with a man who's been in more holes than Tiger Woods. He's been in more <laughs> pockets than a wallet, and he has won the Heisman for breaking hymens. What's what? up? <laughs> Harry oh Jowsey. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Woo! I've never... Wow. And I want to reiterate, we met seconds ago, and I apologize for this. Is, uh, <laughs> I've never. That is awesome. <laughs> there you wow. Go. Oh, that was, yeah, that was funny. New Tinder bio. You're welcome. Yeah. Holy shit. That's awesome. So, um, <laughs> how, how you doing today? <laughs> I'm so much better now. Okay, good. Let's hear some intro music. Oh, that was one of your better intros, Zach. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I knew he was coming. <laughs> And he's a lot bigger than I am, so if I didn't have a good intro, he might fight me and beat me up, which is fine. I expected it. Yeah. Um, so to get right into it, yeah. uh, I'm a man of two divorces. My mom got divorced twice, can't find a man. And I've heard um, you know oh. how to swindle a woman. And I was wondering if you'd maybe fulfill that father figure in my life. Yes right. or no? <laughs> Nice. I already wow. have too many Dude. people calling me daddy, so I don't know if I can <laughs> add that. Okay. Well, if you want to add my mom to the list and me, mine will be a different way than most people. Mine yeah, will be. I, I am a bit of a motherfucker, so that would, yeah. Okay. Um, I do want to reiterate that she's a Christian woman. Would you wait till marriage, or is that kind of? Uh, no. But you no, could, no. Okay. Like a Vegas marriage? Well, she does she live is, in Vegas. She does literally live. It's a wrap then. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sign me up. As long as you wrap it up as well. No. Okay. <laughs> he said no. No, no. Well, good. I could have a brother or sister. I think she's still bleeding. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. Oh my God. Harry's here. Yeah. You are really on something today. Yeah, I good. apologize. You know, I've, I've been outside today. It's a good day. Wow. Gosh. Anyway, yeah. um, oh, wow. I don't even know how to like, what do I even say after that? This like, is going to be fun because you're going to fake your Australian accent so hard since he's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Australia, you guys bicker about it. Where Go are you ahead. from? You poon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Where are you from? Don't explain to them what that means because I'm not sure they mean they know what that means. That's where that's actually where I'm from. What? You poon. <laughs> that's that's the name of it. That's literally the name of it. Yes, Central Queensland. Wow, that makes so much sense for you. Why? What does that mean? That Wait, you don't know what that means? Like dead ass, you don't know what that means? No. You are you are so serious. You don't know what that means. I'm so serious. Yeah, well, poon means vagina in the states. Poon also means vagina. Everywhere. Yeah, no, I know what that means, but oh. the place is actually called Yapoon. Like, that makes yeah. so much sense the whole branding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. He's been starting it since Where birth. Where is that? Uh, Central Queensland. It's nine hours drive above oh, Brisbane. Oh, yeah. I said that. Where is Brisbane? Is that <laughs> east, west? <laughs> where, where, where is that? <laughs> it's right up the top right where all the scary shit is that will like kill you. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. Sick. I, I, come, I come from Perth. It's the oh, boring. you're from Perth? Yeah, it's boring. Wow, you're the first Perth person I've met. Yeah, it's- People don't really exist over there. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Or, or if they do, they do not leave. It's uh, someone was telling me last night that it's closer. It's easier to fly to Bali than it is to Perth. One hundred percent. Because like Perth is like no one cares. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why you're here. No one, no one cares. No it's, one exists over there. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. state and city, but it's like it's really boring. There's not a whole lot that you can do there. It's just. So when you say from the scariest part of yeah. wherever, what, what can you? What's the scariest thing you've seen? Well, like we have bird eating spiders, like classic in the water. There's obviously saltwater crocodiles, sharks, box jellyfish, irriganges, uh, sea snakes. If you get bitten by them, like you die in like three minutes. The cool. And then it on irrigate. land, it like it's like time. So, 100. so when I'm going through peak depression, don't go there because that'd be an easy <laughs> out. Yeah, you know gotcha. how like when you watch like Nat Geo or Discovery, and it's like all this scary shit in Australia. Like, oh my god, don't go here. Like it will fucking eat you. Like that's where I grew up. That's just is like that, in a hundred mile radius. Right literally, <laughs> yeah. They literally come film there. They're like, oh my god, look. <laughs> is, is that why you're six six and built like a mountains? Because you have to fight off nature yeah. every single day. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I come out the womb. I was punching. Okay. Yeah, like how yeah. big does a, a fucking spider have to be to eat a bird? You know, like, like size of your hand. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. That's like some Harry Potter shit. No, it's wild. <laughs> it's crazy. We should start maybe some spider genocide if you're in. Um, we can go over there with some rifles, maybe take them out. Right. That, that's the, you guys don't have firearms over there. We don't. No. So okay, no. we we integrate. We get into like a little bit of a system where we put that's, some firearms in Australia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why, well, that's why all their animals got all big and scary because nobody's nobody hunting can them kill down. Them. Nobody right, can kill but them. what if we go the other way and we become friends with them and we ride them? 
Oh. Into battle. You'll ride anything, won't you? <laughs> Here he goes again. Dude, he's like, all right, what if we just. <laughs> I think. Has anyone ever asked you if you rode a kangaroo to school? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I tell him, yeah. <laughs> I said, of course, and the emu on the way home. <laughs> I'm like, how did you not know? Like, how did you guess? No. I heard, I heard emus are kind of mean. Is that true or not? Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 So it's like a little ostrich that's mad, it's not as tall. Yeah. And, they're angry. <laughs> and the, the crazy thing about the emu and the kangaroo, they're the only two animals that can't walk backwards. They can't walk backwards? Yeah, that's why they're on the coat of arms. I feel like I feel like that's all you guys learn oh in like schools. Oh my like fucking god! <laughs> you didn't know you, that? I understood the kangaroo being on. I got it. I was like, yeah, it's Aussie. Like I get it. The emu thing. I was like, yeah, they can't walk backwards. So wow! That, is that, is that kind of like so? Like your country is always pressing forwards. Yeah. I, I, guess. I guess that's kind of cool. That's yeah. kind of powerful, honestly. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Well, so like on American uniforms, the flag's backwards. So it's like if you're running with a flag, are you facing this way because the wind? Right. So so it's like you're that going towards battle, and never turning around. So it's kind of like similar. That. Speaking wow. of your upbringing, it says in your uh, Instagram bio that you're made in a test tube. Yes. So wait. What? Are you a test tube baby? I am. So is Jared. I'm also a test tube oh, baby. Oh, sick. Uh, so I was born through artificial insemination. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's fun. How were you born? Um. Well, so they got a bit of my dad's juice and a bit of my mom's <laughs> fucking eggs and they okay. mixed it in a vial and they're like, let's just give that a go. And they just let's flipped cut, it back in my mom. Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. I was All like, right. whoa. whoa is, your dad, is your dad as big as you? Is that why you're- uh, like he's, he's like six three. My mom's six foot. She's a big bitch. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's a big bitch. Yeah, wow. no, but it was a world first in spermatic aspiration. So my dad had, it, it turned out to come to like six vasectomies because they kept, they kept reading the- the doctor kept fucking it up. So anyway, long story short, it was like six surgeries on his nuts and they had enough juice for my brother, but they didn't have enough sauce for me. So they literally were just like, we're out of ideas. So we're just going to put a syringe in your ball bag and oh. suck out whatever's oh in there. My God. And then they put it on like a little pantry dish and then whatever one was going nuts. My <laughs> sister, Rosie picked, she's like that one. What? Are you serious? And then, your sister picked you? Yeah, she's <laughs> like, like this one, this one on the right hand corner is like doing backflips. Like let's go. <laughs> Like fuck all the other smart ones. We're gonna go with the long one. And then they grabbed me, put it with some eggs and they fucking warmed it back in the oven. Just said, fingers crossed. Whoa, it's that's so ironic way cooler. that he was made without having sex. Yeah. That is <laughs> right? very ironic. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I want to start off by saying we all love your show. Oh, thank you. And like, it's probably our favorite show ever. <laughs> yeah. And after we say that, we're going to say we haven't seen it yet, but we're, <laughs> we've heard good things. <laughs> right. I was like, what? Yeah. what do you mean? Have you seen the show? Of course I've wait, which show are you talking about? Oh, of course I've seen that oh, show. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Ask him questions about it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm Got a freaking I'm I'm a young woman. Of course I've seen the show. Wow. Was, was he, he literally said too hot to handle was and there's he too a bunch hot to handle? You're one of the cute ones on the oh, show. There you go. Like, yeah. not, not to be like we, no, but like hey, don't slide off your seat, but we hear what you're saying. Shut up. <laughs> no, but like, are you kidding? I'm a young woman and all I saw was just like the uh, most gorgeous women and the hottest men. Uh, don't pump like, their ties up. They're all dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I would like. I know you've talked about this like a thousand times, right. but I do want to know what you were expecting instead of too hot to handle. Like, what did they tell you you were entering? I did was, you know it was like a Netflix show? No, oh yeah, we did know it was for Netflix by the time we got to Mexico. So by the time I was at the hotel, like, hey, like, this is for Netflix. You uh, had no idea what it was for? No, no, because I was just like, oh, fuck it. Like the universe has like put this in front of me. So I'm just going to go <laughs> with the flow and like fingers crossed. It's like something cool. And then we went there and it was just, they were pretty much just getting us like hyped up. Like you're about to go in this like super like sexual, like everyone's horny, like everyone's sexy. And I was like, fuck, like from all over the world, like you got to meet people from here, there. And I was like, holy shit, like, this is wild because I was living in New Zealand at the time. Mm -hmm. So there was, the dating pool was like really small. And then I get to see this and like, yeah, models from here. Like it's so, that one of the producers like, yeah, someone from America's Next Top Models on there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so by the time I was there, I was like, like literally like a fucking possum. Like I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> I was so hyped to get on there. And then they dropped the rules and I cried. You cried? Yeah. yeah oh was, no. So I'm you sorry. were expecting to go into this like party land yeah. where just like, Party, sex, just like having like a dating show. Literally, it was what I, yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, they fully lined it up. Because it was like months of like auditions and like to make sure that you're the right person because they wanted to nail it because it was like one of Netflix's first ever reality shows. So they wanted to nail it. So it was like four or five months where it was in and out like every other week, like checking in, making sure that that like, they were just like making sure that was the right person for the job. Wow. Yeah, crazy. no, I definitely watched it. I know all my girlfriends all watched it and we were like picking our favorites being like, uh, no, I'm like, what's got like <laughs> screaming at the television. And I recently started season yeah. two. Mm. 
I don't think I finished it. You didn't? No. Riveting. <laughs> yeah, well, no. just because maybe I did, but it's like after the first season, it's like, you know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. There's going to be like the ones that fuck up. There's going to be the bitch and there's going to be like, do you it's know what I mean? To, great way to yeah. sell the show that he's on. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm, not, I'm not on the other season, so it's oh, fine. Thank no, goodness, he's thank he's only yeah. in one season. Like that's the, yeah. and it's like, once you get the gist of things, because when I watched it, I had no idea what to expect yeah, either until the rules got dropped and I was like, Holy shit. Oh, this is going to be entertaining. So, yeah, um, yeah but, I loved it but personally. But now everyone just knows like, oh, What's you going just on? to have sex to get Instagram followers. Yeah, exactly. So like everyone doesn't get fucked. Like season three, like they spent all the money and like lost it. And I, at that point, I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. They lost all the money in season three. Well, I they, watched apparently they made it back, but I just couldn't stop. I couldn't enjoy it. I was like, yeah. this is too much. Yeah. Before the cameras turned on, you like came up to me and you're like, Zach, I don't like my image online. I actually don't like having sex with people. I'm doing it just for the clout. <laughs> yeah. Because then I want money, I want clout, but I don't want to have sex with people. And I like, honestly, I would stay celibate my whole life if I could. And I said, come here, buddy. Come give me a hug. You yeah. you held me like a giant bear would. Yeah. And and you cried on my shoulder. So I remember this. So how many times are you having sex a week now? Because I know you don't want to. No, no. Um, I had... Oh, I had sex this morning. Okay, <laughs> nice. Are you in a committed and relationship, or is this just a? No, she was just. She was, she was just walk. She was in the grocery <laughs> store. Right place. You know, it's actually this is actually going to sound really crazy. We were at dinner, um, with a whole bunch of friends, like complete like friend vibe. Like I didn't see anything more. Oh, like it was just w there was no vibe that was like it was going to go anywhere. I got you. And we're we're at dinner, and she was like telling me things she missed about Australia, and I was like, oh well, I have some. Oh, she's Aussie too. Yeah, I was like, I have some Vegemite at home. She's like, oh, crazy. I want to go have some. And I was like, okay, like, let's go back to my place. And we just, <laughs> we didn't have a Vegemite. We just fucked. <laughs> gotcha. And how was, I, can, can I get into the how, who initiated, what was going on? Like, how did did you guys both happen? touch the Vegemite at the same time and then move it down to. Uh, well, he was, he was sleeping on my couch because he's here for a little bit. And like, we walked in and I kind of just went to the kitchen because I was like, oh, maybe she wants some toast. She just went straight to my room. He said, if you guys couldn't hear it, um, he said they were bonding over the bird eating spiders. And that really just got you guys horny, huh? Yeah, it gets you fired up. It's like it, 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 put, <laughs> it, it puts that like adrenaline. fight or flight going inside you. So you're just like, holy shit, like I have to breed before I die. <laughs> and when did you know you were breedable? At what, at what point did you did you realize you were breedable? Uh, as soon as uh, I hit puberty. Yeah. As soon as you hit you're puberty. Like, All right. Yeah, I've locked this down. Time to start breeding. Yeah. 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 What, who was your first breed with? Uh, Jenny. How was she? Uh, it was terrible. Okay. But it was that was my fault because well, that's I, awkward. Let's bring her in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, the but, slight panic on your face was a little too no, true. No, because I was like, it, it was a long time ago, but I've spoken about it a fair bit, but I just remember like that first time I had sex, like I didn't know if it was in, but it turns out it was between her butt cheeks. Gotcha. And so I you, was like, you weren't even in. No, I was like sweating and I was like, how is it? And she's like, yo, like it's not in. I mean, she could have, <laughs> she could have told you sooner though. Well, because she was on top for a little bit to, to initiate things and kick things off because I was literally just like staring at her. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like trying to figure it out. And then I was like, okay, my turn. Like I need to do this. And then I was just like, I thought I was going, but it was like my head was moving and nothing else was. And she's like, no, it's <laughs> not in. I was like, oh fuck. Like I was almost came. <laughs> wow. wow. That was incredible. Yeah. Imagine what sex is actually like. <laughs> yeah. It's still terrible now. Yeah. yeah. No worries. I still don't know what I'm doing. How old were you? 14. 14. 14. Wow. That's wow. young. Wow. So it is getting younger. What do you mean? I'm 25. I'm about to turn. Oh, I'm saying that the, the age uh, to lose. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, I'm, he's like, I'm not 14 now. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> like the age of people losing their virginity. When, when did you lose yours? I'm a Virgin Mary mother. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, all my friends lost it. I was the last one in my friend group, so I felt bad. You were the last one at 14? Yeah, I was peer pressured. So I had to fuck my friend's cousin. I thought you were just going to say oh, your friend. I, say <laughs> your I was like, your, your friend was, okay. But, I thought um, you were going to say your cousin for a minute. And I was like, um. but, yeah. <laughs> wait, so you were peer pressured and your friend was just like, hey, yeah. just here's my cousin. Just hook up with her. Yeah, kind of. Like she was cool. Straight up like Alabama. <laughs> no, no. She, no, she was like, oh, like we would always be flirty, but she had a boyfriend in like two years. And then we would like joke about it. And then one afternoon, like I went for a jog to her house and it kind of just like kicked off. And she's like, are you sure? And I was like, ah, fuck it, like, let's give it a go. And then we had sex a few more times after that. And then I would come back after every time I'd have sex with a new person to see if I've improved. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh yeah, you're doing better now. Like this is that is great. She was great. She was really cool. That oh, is thanks. such a great little system that you had going on. Yeah, because well, she had a boyfriend, so like she couldn't cheat. So it was just more like coaching. <laughs> is that Wait, is that what you that tell is. yourself to make yourself feel better? It's wasn't cheating, it was coaching. No, it was just <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll just we we'll use a different word. We cheated, but we we'll use a different word when we tell people. Yeah, yeah that'll check out. It's purely for educational <laughs> purposes. Yes. That is one of the the better excuses I've heard. Honestly, if my ex had looked at me in the eye and been like, babe, 
I was coaching to be better for you. I would have been like, you know what? You really needed it. So, okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. Actually. I still use that excuse today. Have you started uh, <laughs> thinking about like a YouTube course? You know, they always come out with course like. Yeah, yeah, no, I do have Harry's a master's Hog course, course or something. <laughs> a master's course? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, a, a master, master, a master, a master class? class? Yeah. Hi, <laughs> right. really I'm Harry Jowsey. <laughs> Take off your pants. Yeah. Let's get to it. <laughs> First, we're going to start off with breathing exercises. And now we're just going to come just because we can. <laughs> Listen, he gets it. Hey, okay. this episode, this is... Okay, I feel like everyone wants to ask you about your sex life, how many holes you've been in, wow. what does the vagina look like, not us. We want to find out right. the, the sweet Harry. What Do you have do. any... Do you have any... Uh, other hobbies. Any besides. other hobbies. He's like, uh, two no. girls at once, does that count? No, <laughs> no Harry. No, no. Other than sex, and you know that. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been DJing a fair bit now. Really? Was, really? Yeah, I just got... I uh, was realized I was spending like, too much time on TikTok. So I've been taking like more classes and like so acting classes, DJing classes, like all this random shit to like keep my mind busy. And I've been That's reading cool. a lot of books. Wow. Which is really weird <laughs> uh, to say. And I invest in a lot of companies as well. I have an investment fund. So that's the business side of me is I, in my spare time, instead of actually having sex with all these people, I'm actually doing this stuff. Now, what does your family think of not even like the show, but like everything after yeah. that, like you've developed like this full career out of kind of your personality. They don't get it. They don't like get my it. My mom's still confused by it, but uh, like she's still like is a little bit perplexed about all of it and will send me random shit. Like there was an article recently, like, or it's like, oh, Harry's dating Khloe Kardashian. She's like, you didn't tell me you were <laughs> fucking a Kardashian. I was like, mom. They didn't I'm tell not. me. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know. I like, didn't know. I'm trying to figure out if it's like it happened or not. She's like, well, I didn't realize how big time you were. I was like, mom, I'm not. Like, I'm just trying to, f- figure it out like this is a rumor it's cra- yeah. it's crazy they, they don't get it but well, like obviously a lot of your persona is r-rated do does your mom ever get mad at you about that like come on you, no. you didn't have to say that out loud no, well, she, she grew up with you i'm sure yeah. she knows well, well i no, feel like I'll i grew up with her oh, wait, that, that's <laughs> right. she's my mom that's yeah. what i mean you know what i mean yeah. not everyone calls him daddy come yeah. on <laughs> not, that's the one girl that doesn't call him daddy come on yeah no she, she um she tells like the first show I went on, she said, "Go fuck everyone, even the ugly ones." I was like, gotcha. "I was like, okay. Mom, you can't say that." She really say that? She said that to me. And then the second show, she's like, literally again, she was just like, "You have to fuck everyone." What was the other show you went on? Uh, it was one called Heartbreak Island, which was the first one I won. Oh. And then I went on to what to handle, but she. Oh, I didn't know about the first one. Yeah, it was a New Zealand show. Mm. It, was a, it went on New Zealand Australia. Um, but yeah, she's she's been my biggest fan. But she like literally just says like, as long as she's not your only fan. But no. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's good. Um, but no, she just didn't want me to like settle down or like stop. She's like, you're too young. Just have sex and just enjoy life. We um, love my, unconditional love. <laughs> my great grandmother said something similar. She said, love them all, marry none. That's a good way to live. My, my great grandmother. Take it to the grave. My great grandmother told me that. So. Yeah. And yeah. my grandma didn't say much because she died um, <laughs> very early. It, okay. Sad. I'm not allowed to have a story. Anyway, wow. uh, sad. So before this, we all sat down. I think for an hour, we reviewed your sex tape over and over again. And we wrote down a couple of notes we oh, wanted to give you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, Do you have a sex tape out? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Was that nerve wracking? Known that we no. actually have not watched. Yeah, that. I have, no, no, we have no, not. But that. we're gonna pull it up here. We can all do a <laughs> yeah, yeah, commentary. Good. Yeah. Please. Wow. Was yeah. that at all nerve wracking? Nah. Is it like just to? Uh, I okay. I'm gonna ask questions that I know people want to know. I'm also very curious myself. For sure. Is it like? A production of a- no, 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 no. I just, I was like, oh, my my water bottle's here. My phone is there. <laughs> and then I'm like, let's just get in the shower and just fucking figure it out. And then boom, you get an OnlyFans top creator award. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you got? Yeah, a couple. Oh, <laughs> a couple. Yeah. Couple. yeah. Just lining my mantle. <laughs> yeah. No, but it, it, it wasn't, it's not like anything like crazy. It was just like, we were already filming shit anyway. And oh. like, we were filming a lot of like very like intense stuff. And she also has OnlyFans and I was like- Oh, so you might as well. Yeah, I was just like, well, I'm, I have a, an amazing, like like my brand already and like who I am is like very open sexually. So I was just like, whatever, like who really cares? At the end of the day, like- I guess no one does care about that stuff anymore. I just think it's boring. Like, bro, like it's no better time to be like open about your sexuality and like talk about shit and just be like comfortable. And like, I find that people that are worried or like try and make you feel guilty or bad about what you do is just because they're just- projecting and they're like insecure about what's going on or like what they're into so i'm just like the more i talk about it the more normalized it is for my audience and the more that they can feel comfortable like either talking to me about it or talking to their friends or like actually figuring out what they're into because i remember when i was like 16 or 17 like i was like googling like everything how to make a girl squirt like how to eat a girl (laughs) out and like all this shit like how do i take care of like and i just find that like maybe Hey mom, if you're still watching, go ahead and then skip this episode. <laughs> <laughs> go, and mom, go to listen to the podcast episode where I talk about eating pussy. That's great. Wow. Your mom or my mom? It, both. Okay. 
Maybe they could group chat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just found that like, I just, younger me needed like more people to just be comfortable like talking about it. And I'm just like, why don't I just be that guy and just not give a fuck? Okay, business opportunity here. You're yeah. already you're already pumping out the videos of you pumping, okay? Yep. Okay, you right. and the person you have sex with, honestly, do like an announcer watching a football game, like yeah. talking about what's going on. While we're having <laughs> sex? No, no, ab- like after you have sex, you sit down and watch your uh, video and you do like a review. That could Hilarious. be fun. The thing is, she just didn't, genuinely just doesn't want to talk to me after. Yeah, but we can. so bad. There's more girls out there. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I could get like one of my friends. Me and Joe could sit down and we yeah. can talk about it. Have you it. ever thought about coming out with your own line of like condoms or lubes I, or yeah, toys? Yeah, I did that. Did you? Yeah, when the show was airing because I had a line in the show called, uh, I was speaking about boyfriend dick. Um, <laughs> where I was talking about it. Did you remember that? It was like one of the initial things. So I dropped a boyfriend dick condom. That's hilarious. Yeah. But I did I did sex toys for a little bit, but the brand like the team was dog shit. So we're gonna redo it. Do you prefer American girls or Australian? Amer um <laughs> Amer Americ like nah what would you say? Because I feel like I think he likes them all. Yeah, <laughs> I like them all. Okay, that's such a political answer. No, because like American girls are a lot of fun and like great, but like Australian girls, like I was thinking last night when they'll burn in a kangaroo, you never know what they're gonna do. Exactly. And I feel and they're like used to pouches. You think Aussie girls are more wild? No, no, I just think that like I would, I'm going to settle down with an Australian girl because the yeah. humor is very like similar. And like, I feel like it's like last night I was very like carefree. Like we were screaming in the car and like just having a great time. But I feel like with American girls, they're a little bit like, what do you mean by that? Like, what are you doing? Oh, that has been my biggest thing with Americans is sometimes, actually not with Zach and Jared, they understand sarcasm, but yeah. a lot of Americans do not understand sarcasm. Yeah. Yeah. It's or also like, LA a little bit though. That is LA too. Everyone's just too serious. So serious. Like, like you'll say something and be like, fuck you. And they'll be like, excuse, excuse me? Yeah. And they'll be like, I'm fucking kidding. Yeah, like, it's a joke, it's a, cockhead. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a, yeah. ha ha. It's crazy. It is very, I completely understand what you mean because yeah. I felt the same way. But what any else? any fun American girls that want to prove me wrong, <laughs> DMs, DMs are so open. What's the amount of DMs you go through a day? I mean, have you hired an assistant at this point to kind of keep up with them? No, no, I'm not. Okay, we, I'm got not a bat- we got a baddie from the South. Um, she has a little <laughs> bit of an accent. I don't know if you had that before. No, yeah. I did do that on tour. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what about this? Have you tried this ethnicity? I have, I have, I loved it. Let's put this in the top tier category. <laughs> Something like that. Have you done an S tier? just doing tier list. Dude, you should do a tier list imagine. of every girl you've like ever been Excel with. Excel sheet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this but. is. This is great. Nah, imagine. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I feel like Tiger or Dan Bilzerian would do that. Yeah, for sure. But I'm not that there yet. But you'll get there. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And in her. But chill out, dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got a game for him? <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> God. yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to match the energy of the host, man. <laughs> okay. He's a great on. guy. He seems nice. He could definitely hold me. <laughs> oh, my God. 95 episodes is awesome, by the way. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of work. You're up there, too. You got, what, like 60-something? 60 65, I think. Yeah. This is how Ooh, What are you going to do for your 69? I wish we'd done oh, something cool. I didn't cool. even think about that. We I tried to get do Riley something Reed. You gotta get, yeah, we tried to get Riley Reed on, but she maybe you'll be able to. She didn't come? Oh, yeah, the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I had her on my podcast. She was great. Oh, you should, you should get- so sweet. You should do something uh, for 69. We really <sighs> wanted to get like Riley Reed or a porn star on, but- Damn, maybe I'll get head the whole episode. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> the first two minutes. Like have the camera on my face. He said the whole episode. Yeah. I, was like, I, I just realized I was like, uh, it's probably like <laughs> first thirty seconds. Like <laughs> the intro. Hey guys, Harry, welcome back. <laughs> Does Harry keep his jowzy not Harry? Uh, I actually did Zach. trim it today. I'm asking. I what? Feel like that's I, a very personal question. He no, just no, no, told my mom, book. "Watch the video of me eating yeah. vag." I think we're okay. past it. We yeah. are. We are. And no, I did trim it today. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Do you have Manscaped as a sponsor? Because we could plug. Yeah. On um. We will soon. They sent us a lot of product. Okay. But well, we can't say, give it we can't is, give it to them till the set date, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, fuck. I was gonna say this would be a good time to plug yeah. them. That would be a good time, wouldn't it? Yeah, but don't worry. I just use my razor. Okay. Um, oh, what is this? So we have a little game for you called Harry's Hotties. Um uh, we're <laughs> basically we're just gonna like find out what kind of girl you want. What this, I feel like it will be hard for him, but I also haven't seen <laughs> this. This will be fun. Yeah, oh, I know. Shit. Great so what does he have to do? Just pick left or right? Yeah, you're gonna pick left or right and then um you're we're basically gonna find like the ultimate girl out of all of these, you know. Right. Okay. So this is purely based on pure personality. Okay. That no, was that not. was for Twitter yeah. uncanceling. <laughs> it's yeah. not. Okay. Addison. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> Who didn't even get to announce? <laughs> Who? Yeah. Um all right. So Tana is off the 
Okay, here oh, we go. Fuck. Chantel Jeffries. Do you know? Oh, do you know all these people? Yeah, that's <laughs> awkward. Yeah, I know. That's oh, the fun part. <laughs> fuck, uh, Chantel. Oh, okay. We got our first switch up. She's here. Because she's a DJ. You guys could do that together. Smart choice. Smart yeah, business she, choice. And she's so smart and successful. Uh, uh, Chantel. Okay. All yeah. right. Summer Ray. Okay. Who is that? Shay Mitchell. Shay Mitchell. Yeah. You don't know who that is? Who is that? Celebrity. She's on Pretty Little Liars. Oh, I love her. Also, she <laughs> love she her. developed a suitcase where in the handle it has a weight so it can tell you if That's it's over 50 pounds. Who that you were is... showing me the other yeah. day? Yes. What? So smart, right? Yeah. Shay Mitchell. Yeah. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's about to what? slide real quick. I hate that she'll like hit him back tonight. It's like <laughs> No, uh, she's got a baby daddy in it. Oh, she does? Yeah. I'll get her off the list. <laughs> Shay Mitchell? I didn't know that. Is she in a oh, relationship? Oh, wow. She is... <laughs> I just watched him. I, I saw oh, his eyes wow. light up. Oh my god! <laughs> Congratulations. That's, that's fine. Okay, so taking her off she, the list. Yeah, she would have been a top contender, but okay, we got Stasi. Chantel. Okay. Oh, that was a bold move. <laughs> Lauren <Chantel>. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> Lola Wood. Oh, she's gorgeous, but Chantel. Okay. Wow. She is gorgeous. Uh, Chantel. <laughs> I don't even know who that was. Father Kel. Oh, I do love Father Kel. And she can cook. Oh. She can, but Chantel for sure. <laughs> okay. He just uh, loves the DJ so Dolly much. Dolly Castro. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> I love that I'm introducing him to these hot girls. This is great. Are you getting these, Joe? <laughs> oh, this is just. Dolly Castro. How do I know? I don't know name? really who she is, but uh, she was wow. on a few articles of like the He's like, best let me looking just, Hold on, guys. Let me just DM her real quick. <laughs> she was? Yeah. She looks like she's got an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> what she look like? <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's got an attitude. Yeah, Chantel. Okay. Do you like an attitude? She looks like she has an attitude. Yeah, no, no. I definitely would for sure. But I'm like, I'm just thinking long term, right? Oh, Daisy. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. What? She's got a man. Yeah, yeah but I know, Michael. This is a okay. game. This is a game. <laughs> I, uh, like, uh, baby wise, oh, we're going to go Daisy. I feel like I'm just thinking okay. long, long term. That would be a very cute child. I'm, I'm just thinking long term. But that would be an adorable child. But also, child. Michael is probably one of the best looking dudes on the planet. Definitely. Which sucks. All right. We got... Charlie Jordan. Oh, damn. Also a DJ. Oh, wait, I have questions about that. Charlie's great, but Daisy, I'm just thinking for the babies. All right, and then last one, Bella Porch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. That would be cute, Charlie, with either. My dad contemplated less if he wanted custody of me. <laughs> <laughs> And you're out here just thinking. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you say, Joe? I think like. It, yeah, Bella. The tattoos. Bella. The tattoos. She does have cool tattoos. Joe, if you want to jump in at any point, don't feel like. Oh, there fuck. we go. Anytime. Hop on in we're, if you we're want. Very, uh, she's so cute. Oh, the tattoos. Hop just on in. Crazy. Get in here. Yeah, there's another mic. Oh, she's so cute. I wish she'd DM Bella me back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Zach here. I just wanted to take a quick second to kind of pour out my heart a little bit. Okay, I gotta be serious. But honestly, um, you guys have been helping with the GoFundMe in my knee and I have I have cried off camera because of the outpouring of support that you guys have given me. Um, I just found out today that they're not gonna cover, uh, uh, insurance isn't gonna cover any of the surgery. Um, so it's gonna be maybe even more expensive than I thought. Um, so any help that you guys have been giving means the world to me and I read every DM and I try to get back to everyone. So if you, if you happen to help me out, please DM me so I can thank you properly. And, um, you know, I've, I, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know how to put in the words, how much it means to me that you guys are helping out. Um, somebody that you don't, you never really met. But, um, anyway, with that said, thank you so much. And, uh, don't donate if you don't have the money. Um, but if you do and have, I couldn't, couldn't thank you enough. Um, it, it, from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot. Thank you. Back to the, back to the podcast. Okay. You've literally been killing me over there. I'm sorry. Yeah, Make no, it's off, incredible. Like it. He is the funniest person I've ever met. Oh, now you, now, you can't now say now that about someone. Up now so now pressure there's for so much pressure. Oh, well, I was just saying. I apologize like, for her ruining my day. We can, now we got your best friend in the whole world here, Joe. Yeah. Which okay, I, and I got a bone to pick with Joe. Oh, Listen here, oh. Joe. <sighs> you know who I don't see much, Joe? Yeah. My father. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. And do you know what my dad's name is, Joe? I'm guessing it starts with a J and ends in an E. It's Joe. So when I look at you, yeah. I get sad. Because I look like him? No, because you yeah. got the same name and it reminds me that I don't know how to throw a baseball, Joe. Okay? Because uh, he was never there. Anyway, I, I apologize. I apologize on all Joes. 
Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, now he's actually Joseph. So, so is my Joseph, father. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. So, we can call it that. But okay. He can't throw but a baseball here, here. I can't. I'm English. We don't know what they are. Yeah. Oh, perfect. More you know of a what cricket, cricket is though. More of a cricket man. I have heard of cricket. Yeah. yeah. I don't play it. It's and so boring. Do you? No, are you in a relationship? Really? Uh, I'm single. Okay. Do you? Do you have as much um, intercourse as your lovely friend over here? You have more than me. I try to keep up. You have more than me. He has more. I think, no, I don't think I have more. Okay, I was I gonna I introduce more. you to my mom, but never mind. You guys both have you guys both have the accents that American I girls immediately are like. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. so we, we kind of we kind of sandwich girls at an event. Like he'll be like, say something one ear, one ear, I'm in the other, and then it's just just it's breathing heavy. Yeah. Can can, can we see who has the best American accent out of you two? Oh, oh, it's own. Um, give know. us give us a line. Right, give us I, a line. Say. I went to the store the other day and bought chips. <laughs> you guys both went. No, you go first. No worries. You go, you go. I went to the store the other day and bought chips. <laughs> okay, oh, not bad. Horrible. That wasn't the, bad. The chips was great. Everything chips. before that, definitely you Australia. Say it again. Can you say it again. I went to the store the oh. other day and bought chips. I went to the store the other. day. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I sound. That's the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard. Oh. Oh. Okay. We sound okay. You have a really strong American accent. He goes. They do. You went to the store. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I was like trying to okay, think. Okay. No worries, man. Uh, we want you two to try and do an Aussie or an English accent. All right, you, yeah. you go. You go Jared, first. Jared, you go ahead. Oh shit. Am I, am I saying oh, the same? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's fine to do oh, it when we're oh, offline, oh, and now you get nervous. No, we're not nervous. We're locked in. I want to hear the, your English accent. Yeah. And I want to hear your Aussie it's accent. It's not good. You should be good at that. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. I you went said, to no. the store the other day and I bought chips. Oh, that's cool. How was that? Yeah. That was terrible. That was, that was I'm terrible. not happy with it. Yeah. I went what? to the store the other day. Bought what chips. rank? I went to the store the other day. Bought chips. No. I went. I was at. I went to the store the other day and I bought chips. No. It's actually not bad. I don't even know. It's, it's actually not bad. No, not, please, I've got to give him a little bit. No, Did you hear all? No. Come on, he's my father. He would know. Right, that was ruined it. <laughs> now he no. sounds like some, he's trying to do Harry, Harry, Harry Potter. I apologize. <laughs> What's with the head? Oh. We got here, Leviosa, love. <laughs> all right. Um, That's how he sounds 24 seven whenever. I start talking or whatever because I just got home from Australia, so then my accent gets stronger. The minute I get back, they're both like, "No, no!" Oh fuck! I hate when people do that. Oh. People and I find as well like Americans will like naturally just copy your accent back to you when you yes, do it. Yes, and it's yeah. so it's weird. like, "Oh, cheers!" So and they go, "Cheers!" <laughs> like, 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 Sometimes I don't even mean it. I'm like, "Cheers!" Like, I'm like, "Oh, sorry." How do you <laughs> respond to that? Like, if they don't, you know how some people really don't realize they're like, "Oh, I just like put on accents sometimes." Yeah, I don't like, like oh. it. And yeah. I'm just like, "Shut up! Get out of here, Cheryl." <laughs> <laughs> that's your grandma's name. That's my grandma's name. <laughs> yeah, she's a great woman. I do have uh, two very Aussie Australian uh, Australian named grandparents. It's Cheryl and Daryl. Oh, <laughs> what are your what are your parents? What do your parents do? Me? Yeah. yeah. Um, my dad's retired now, but they have, this sounds so crazy. It, they have a, uh, tag manufacturing business. Wow. Yeah. So they make like nylon, clothing tags, no nylon tags for like, um, the mining industry and like lifting industries. For, like, well, everybody in Australia is in mining. Yeah. It's, well, it's, I mean, the, it's the number one. Yeah. The yeah. number one. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're yeah. famous. That's what my parents do. Really? They're in the yeah. mines? My dad works for MRL. Yeah, it's the crazy shit. Everyone that like graduates school just goes straight to the mines. To engineering or, or anything. Anything yeah. to do with the mines. It's crazy. A like, lot of people there work uh, FIFO, which is fly in, fly out. So yeah. they're like two weeks on, two weeks off. What what's what are some things that are better in America than Australia? And what are some things that are definitely better in Australia than America? Um, I think not getting shot in Australia is like the best. <laughs> that is a good call. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. you didn't go to high school here. Good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. God damn. Okay. Let's not act like it's not an epidemic going on. We're going to fix is. that, huh? <gasps> Very uniquely American. Yeah, we can go to high school. That's sick. That's always good. Um, what is better about America? We literally had a bomb scare every week. I like, really? Yeah, yeah. it's terrifying. Wow. I like the the immediateness of everything. I don't know what yes. the, but everything yes. like if you want if you want to order something on Amazon tomorrow, it'll yeah. be your door. Yeah. That today, night even. today it can be your yeah, door. Yeah, no, that shit's fucking crazy. In Australia, that, like it takes like a week. A week, two weeks, like to get anything. Furniture is on back delay for like three months. Like if you yeah. want to furnish an apartment, you have to be ordering stuff three months before you move in. Like it's ridiculous. Like the the fast track, the fast pace of everything here is nice. Everything Ooh. in Australia, especially where I'm from, closes yeah. at like 6 p.m. Yes, yes. Yeah. I Literally where I live, oh, you Friday night, go to dinner, it's closed at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Everything's closed at like yep. 7 p.m. Well, how, how big was your town? There's like uh, 19,000 people in the surrounding area. So like, the whole area. That's yeah. Crazy. And I saw another oh podcast. Wait, when did you guys meet? A couple years back. 
a yeah. couple years back. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if you grew up together because I know you went to what boarding school? Yes, what, two. at two different boarding schools. At what age did you start going to boarding school? Uh, I think at fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. And then I don't know much about boarding school besides Zoe One Hundred and One when I watch her growing up. It's so pretty like, much like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. What? <laughs> what? Um, like where where was it? How long did you have to go for? When did you see your family? Like yeah, so I went uh, to the boarding school at the which is at the biggest was that, that closest city. It was like an hour and a half bus ride away. Um, it was just annoying every day, like having like that amount of time fucking commuting. Um, so it would just be like weekdays if we wanted, and we could stay on the week weekends if we wanted, or we can like get a bus ride home. Yeah. But pretty much it was just like you go to boarding school. It was a co-ed one, so it was like girls and shit, and they would always like do activities and they'd be like group chips it was really sick it was really yeah. cool and then i uh, got kicked out of that school and well why was Why'd that you get- <laughs> oh it was like it was pretty silly it was political <laughs> yeah no i st- there was like a leadership camp and someone started a rock fight um <laughs> okay late at night and it all the fingers pointed at me i may have been involved <laughs> and you probably threw the rock the hardest though yeah we were putting holes in tents Okay. Um, and then so, really you got kicked out of school for that are you kidding me he's, he could kill people he, yeah he's no like, it, it, got, it got serious it, yeah. it kicked oh. off and then um one of the teachers like locked me in an office for like nine hours and then it got like pretty hairy and then i was like okay, okay well, no pun intended keep going yeah and then i uh <laughs> i was like well i'm not allowed to go to school here anymore so I was like, well, I'm going to have a party. And then I had a party, which caused a riot where <laughs> yeah, a, I kick you out too. a paramedic got knocked out. It was, <gasps> a cops, like everyone got their shit. Like, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. I didn't realize the power of a Facebook post. And then it, yeah, it went nuts. It was all over the news. It changed laws in Project Queensland. X. It was pretty good. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. literally Project X. Yeah, it, it changed laws in my state um, where I was. And then they tried to arrest me and my brother. But I was like, well, there was like 14 people got arrested and had to like got serious charges. It was really, it was really fucked up. I don't know why I did it. And then, um, yeah, so my parents were just like, you're a piece of shit. So we're going to send you to a different country to go to boarding school. What country you go to? I went to New Zealand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to a rugby school there. Yeah, yeah well, sick. honestly. I, I would have sent me further. <laughs> I would have sent me to like Antarctica. At what point did you kind of calm down in your uh, youthful antics? Um, when I traveled through Europe, I it was like just turned 18 and um, I was, I went back home and realized I just didn't belong. Like I didn't fit in the family dynamics. I was just saving up my money. And then I just went to Europe and I was like, fuck, I got to figure this shit out. And then I went there and I was still being like cocky and arrogant and just like, Oh, I could just punch this dude and just have a sick fight and like have a good time. I tried to swing on a guy. My friends that I made at the bar that I was working at were just like, yo, like you'll get fucking stabbed. And that was just like, oh shit. And then I saw someone get murdered. So I was like, all right, well. Yeah, murder, murder will stop you in your tracks yeah. every time. Yeah, really just like, really humbled me. And I was like, okay, like I should probably be yeah, a good so what dude. humbled you? So it was murder. Murder yeah. humbled me. But I'm a yeah. better person after yeah. it. Um, well, England's crazy. Everyone has shanks on them. Yeah, Everyone yeah. gets stabbed in. It's, it, yeah, it's yeah. the, the girl. Really? But I actually feel like yeah. it, it's the same in Australia. How many people you, I've never seen anyone get stabbed. <clears throat> really? In Australia? Oh. How many in people Perth? have you seen okay. get stabbed? Yeah, you've never mentioned people no, getting stabbed like, before. No, like I've definitely seen people pull knives on people and I've definitely Astra- seen- Australia just loves a punch on. Everyone just loves fighting. Everyone has a punch on, yeah. But if, depending on the area you're in, like- Yeah. Like, what? You ever been to St. Kilda in Melbourne? Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah, they'll be getting stabbed out there. Actually, I, were, uh, <laughs> I was on tour and um, I decided to stay in for the night, but the rest of my tour group decided to go out and they didn't they know where they were going. stabbing people? No, they didn't know where they were going. They it's ended, like a up, fun thing to do. Yeah, they ended up wandering into St. Kilda at night in Melbourne. Um, wow. And they had like a, a surrounding group of about six or seven really big guys pull knives on them and be like, empty out everything you have, everything wow. expensive. They all got robbed. Wow. Including my mom. My what mom was the place called? St. Kilda. Stay oh, Kilda. I thought it was just like St. Kill and I was like, that's no. a really dark it's name. It's called St. Kilda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What did you want to be when you were younger before you got into all of this? Um, I wanted to take up my family's business, but then oh, I- Oh, the re- coal? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I thought you guys did like coal mining. No, 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 no. The, the, <laughs> the tags, the nano tags. Yeah, so yeah, my You fam- did say that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> they, wanted me to t- they wanted me to take over that, me and my brother, but turns out I just didn't give a fuck about it. Is your brother still doing it? No, he's a fucking moron. Okay, what's he doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's like- Hosting like Bushdoofs in a fucking bush with long hair and like it was a whole bunch of hippies. okay. You said a lot of words that I didn't. Know. <laughs> I that one that I have yeah. a, lot of, a lot of bushes like Bushdoofs. You know what that is like nope. like like little like parties in the bush. 
Yeah, he's he's doing he's a different person than I am. Okay. Like, like well, you both you guys both have parties and bushes, but his are not to deal with women. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> got his it. doesn't have crabs. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Any yeah, SEDs yeah. currently or yeah? No, 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 no worries, man. No worries. If you want to look in that camera and say it's a joke though, that'd be great just for all the females you um DM'd while on this podcast. <laughs> it's a joke. There we go. There Thank you. It wasn't sincere at all, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So oh, fuck. So now you're in in the you're in the influencer business. You're in the you're in the entertainment business. Yeah. What are kind of I don't know some things that keep you up at night when it comes to this this business? What are some like challenges? Oh, he decided to get deep. I don't know. Yeah. I actually do want to know like some challenges that you go through in your mind when it comes to this. Yeah, I think um, the biggest thing that's been playing on my mind is like what legacy? Like what am I doing that's gonna help the next version or like the next? I don't know. It sounds fucking corny, but like I uh, recently like was. Got in like a really like two weekends ago. Got in a like really weird mindset, and um, because uh, someone passed, and I was like, it put me in a in a crazy like mind frame. Where I'm like, okay, say there's twelve months left to live. Like there's twelve months left on the clock. Like what am I doing today that's gonna make sure that like I'm leaving shit that's gonna be like watched or like make people laugh longer than I'm here. So it kind of made me like it's really spun me out the last couple of weeks. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, what am I actually doing? Like cool, the TikToks and shit are fun and like they're cool to make people laugh. But like, am I in a movie? Am I doing this? Or like, am I like like genuinely like sitting down and like helping people like giggle or like feel better? So that's kind of been the biggest thing is like, how do I legitimize myself a little bit more so that, you know, when you look at like a Will Ferrell movie or like Kevin Hart, you're like, I'm gonna watch that because it's gonna make me laugh. That's have, kind of- Have the, you had any ideas of what kind of avenue you want to do? Yeah, I've been focusing on the acting a fair bit. That's great. Um, Because it's just, it's- starting to really fill my cup like it's genuinely like really enjoyable and i really enjoy the process and um being able to take things a little bit more serious but yeah just uh trying to and then more on the comedy side as well like i've been like trying to figure out how to do like a comedy festival and, like what can i do to like make smaller com comedians like have their own like chance to, like make people laugh like that's just been my, my thing oh yeah me. i mean I, that we definitely cross paths on that so we'll have to talk after because i yeah for sure i love stuff like that but um yeah, so any what are your favorite movies? Like when you say what kind of actor would you want to be? Yeah, I think uh my the person that I genuinely like always say is like my blueprint, like the person I want to follow is like Ashton Kutcher. Like I Yeah, that's great. So like how, great. how he went and then like the investing stuff and the stuff that he does now in the business world is just fucking sick. Like he's just the guy. Yeah. So I think So you cool. want to do a little bit more comedy route, maybe like some rom com type. Yeah, yeah, just some real corny shit. You know, no, but like really corny. But like feel good. I know? love yeah. those movies. Those movies yeah. make People feel the best more than anything. I, I love those. Yeah. That's favorite, my favorite type of movie. One of Zach's favorite movies is About Time. If you've never watched it, I haven't seen it. Definitely give it a watch. It is incredible. Yeah. And but it's a, like it's a rom com. It's a rom com. Have you seen The Big Sick? No. If you get a chance, check that I've out. Heard of that one? Yeah, I think you'd really you like it. Fucking cry. Really? Though. Yeah. See, it, I like suck. in a feel good way. Yeah. Yeah. I suck when it comes to watching movies because I just fall asleep. <laughs> really? Like anytime there's anything on, I'm like, wow. I got five minutes. Like. The Adam project that was on Netflix that yeah. was going crazy. I seen that yeah, yet. I've watched it six times trying to get to the end of it. Like it's <laughs> fucked up. It's so annoying because like my friends at Netflix, like you have to watch it. It's so good. And the first night I like got twenty minutes in, and then the second night I was like, I'm just gonna start it from the start because like I need to like figure it out. And I was like sitting at the edge of my bed, and then I'd, like go over a little bit, fall asleep, and like it really fucked me up. So by the time I finished the movie, I'm just pissed off at it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any movies that keep you like hyper focused? Like I will watch this because this is the best thing I've ever seen. Probably Star Wars. No, the Star Sausage Wars? Party. You watched oh, it the other day. Sausage Party was really good. Have yeah. you seen Sausage Party? Oh, I haven't seen that. Wait, wait, wait. Ever. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of Star Wars, I, go get them. The, the one in the grocery store? Yes. Oh, that so is good. so fucking so intense. funny. So intense. It's so fucking funny. We were funny. laughing off the other day. We just watched the whole it's thing. So intense. Speaking of Star Wars, I got the three original on VHS the other day at a garage sale for five bucks on what? the on the mantle. Yeah, really? that was pretty sick. And then we just got this for five bucks too. <laughs> what? No way. That's fucking cool. It works too. Really? Yeah. Sick. I used to have one of these. Well, not this, but like Darth Vader one when I was a kid. And you speak in here. Oh yeah. I used to have one of those too. Do you wear it when you have sex? Um, Surely. it depends on, it depends on the night. Um, if she wants to get stormtrooped, then I do. But if right. she's stormtrooped, yeah, I feel like you would wear that during sex, wouldn't you? For sure, It'd be a crazy video. What's the craziest role play you've ever done? I haven't ever. No. Wow, craziest place, uh, cathedral. Come what? on, man, come on, there's rules in what? society, no, like in all a the altar, like just because the, the priests are doing it doesn't mean you can. <laughs> well, they're doing it with kids, so it's a little bit different. And Wait, just, you really, yeah, don't do that. How How did that come about? Um, so I, I was at 
boarding school in New Zealand and because you can't bring girls back into your dormitory, you kind of figure out shit. There was a graveyard um, <laughs> near. So, okay, I'm going to paint the picture. The school's here. The, the sister school's there. Then there's like a little park, but there's graves. I had, I had sex in there, but one one afternoon we went to this football field and we were like fooling around on the football field. We ended up like having sex there. It was broad daylight and then we walked back because I was like, oh, we should probably go back to school. Um, and then the cathedral, it was literally, it was lunchtime and I remember walking in and I was like looking around. I was like, oh, this is sick. The altar, whatever the fuck it is. And then there's like a prayer room over you here. Not- where there's like, you get, there's like a literally a window. It's a different place to be on your knees. You know that. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, so I realized, I was like, oh, this is interesting. I've never been in a church before. And then I went around and we like, and I just like sat down and she just hopped on me where she could, she had a head like where she could see if anyone was coming. Oh, and, thank goodness. And I was like, you know who's looking at the wrong person? The Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Boarding okay. school sounds crazy. Yeah. I was just like, you're looking at the wrong person because I'm coming, but I, I, fully, <laughs> I fully tried to play it off because I was like, I was like, I did not come. I just went soft like really quick. And she's like, what, what's all that in the condom? I was like, I don't know. You must be so to wet. Time to, to, time to use a I don't know. You must be so You're wet. You're just gaslighting in a, cas- a cathedral. <laughs> yes. No, okay. I was like 16. I was like, you, I was like, that's not me. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what else would it be? Yeah, like, I don't know. Know. It was in there before. It was a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so Second head condom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I used this before. I found, I on, this, I found on the floor. Yeah, yeah. I used this with in a girl I lasted so long with. Yeah, so. it's crazy. Yeah, you, you would know. Yeah. That line took me out. <laughs> I don't know. You must be so wet. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play? Uh, Around a red flag. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll do that after this question. Okay, so social media and like this game is kind of, I don't know, it's a rat race. And like, how does your head screw on when it comes to like always having to be posting, always having to quote unquote stay relevant as cringy yeah. as that word is? Like, what is the stress that comes with that? And how do you fo- like? Do you have a set thing? This is what I want to do this week. How do you come up with ideas? What yeah. What's that like? I think the funniest thing is with this space is like everyone's like, oh my God, relevant or like you're not relevant or you're this like that. Shut up. It's, yeah, I think that's so corny. And like I've, I've had like, I've seen other people try and say it as well. And I'm like the, the, the only thing in my head is like, you're the person that controls all of that. So if you want to be relevant or if you want to do more shit, you can. But like, I just think that it doesn't really matter because people are relevant in their own ways. And it's like you for, for other people who are fans of someone else, I'm not going to be relevant to them, but for yeah. like my audience, they, get, they probably think I'm like super relevant. So I think it's like very, and it depends on the person, but when it comes to content, genuinely, I just, I'll be on TikTok and I'll, I'll find a sound or I'll, I'll just save it. And then when I'm like in the morning, it's usually when I've had like a bunch of caffeine and I can like figure out what I want to do. But I've been like, I suck with my content at the minute. Like I've just, I just really haven't really cared to post because I haven't been excited about it. Like, the, the acting stuff and like the podcast has just made me like be like hyper focused and like excited about that instead of like little TikToks here and there. So it just hasn't been really like filling my cup. Oh no. Yeah. Even podcasts and stuff. That's content too. Like even yeah. just any form of media, I was just kind of wondering what gets you excited. That's good yeah. to hear. I'm excited to like, I'm going to definitely keep an eye on like your trajectory of, of acting and podcasting. Cause I, I, I think you're funny. I think you got some good, some good long form stuff. Yeah. But anyway, um, you've been jacked off enough. So I'll stop doing it. Jared. Uh, wow. You got, oh, you, you got some games? Oh my God, dude. Awesome. Okay, uh, so we're going to play a game of Red Flags. I'm glad, I'm glad we got Joe here. It's, yeah, now no. we got more players. Yeah. Um, it's a Thanks. game we play a lot on here. So basically, uh, I'm going to give you two piles of cards okay. and you're going to pick two white cards. We're going to build the perfect uh, like boy or girl, right? So like girl for you guys, boy for Indy, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, they're going to have two good attributes, which are the white cards, and then they're going to have one red flag. Um, and then basically, the person, whoever's turn it is, has to pick the lesser of all the evils. Yeah, so say 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 we're picking a girl for you. This is the perfect girl for you. It's going to be like beautiful eyes, best kisser, but smells like a skunk. That's not really what the cards are. And yeah. then you have to go around and pick which girl you date based on all their attributes. Wow. We okay. love a red flag, though. Yeah, so we, we love we, a red we flag. We get three cards. That's yes. then, oh, I guess while he's passing these cards out, what is your biggest red flag in yourself? Or are you like, you'd warn a girl, like, don't, don't. Um, Someone that, like the biggest red flag. Uh, no, to, that you would tell someone about yourself. About myself is that I don't have a lot of time for you. Gotcha. Like, I just want to work. Mm. And I'm, and I, I guess I'm, I'm really good at self-sabotaging. Like I'm yeah. sick at it. Like I'm a professional self-sabotager, <laughs> you know? He's fucking great at yeah. it. Why do you, what, can, really do you good. have any instances? Like things will start being like really good. And like there was a girl recently where like anytime I'd be sad, she'd like send me flowers and she's like super caring and like sweet and like would do all this stuff for me and like be really like awesome. 
And I was like, this is just so good. So I'm just going to fully fuck it up. How do you, you have fuck it, it up? Do you have any examples of the- yeah, How I fucked it up? Yeah. Um, I took another girl to dinner when I told her I didn't want to go out anywhere. And then I fucked this chick. And then um, <laughs> yeah. I just stopped talking to her. Uh, yeah, was, I said I was having a terrible day. And I was like, well, I was also just like, you know what? I'm not ready for this right now. So I'm just going to make sure that it will go past the point of no return. Gotcha. That's and do, is that something that keeps you up at the night? You're like, why did I? Yeah. 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 Cause she's really nice. She's great. She's perfect. Right. Am, I, am I just holding these? Or okay. So you're going to pick out. Well, uh, we'll go first so you guys get the gist. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we're going to pick out a guy for Indy. So you're going to pick up two of the white cards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What do you actually do with these? Oh, no we don't idea. know. We, we just bought them. <laughs> the setup here is crazy, you know. Oh, thank you so, so much. You should have seen it evolve from where we had uh, it. Do you have friends around here just to chill out when you're not podcasting? Well, okay. So I, well, I'll tell the story kind of briefly. Jared and I met each other in a hostel. We we lived in LA for about a year with two, uh, it was a two bedroom apartment, 900 square feet um, with 10 people. And it was all bunk beds, very poor, couldn't afford any food, we ate the same meal every day. Then we took six of us that lived there, moved us in here, still really poor, still really poor, started the podcast, started doing content, able to afford new things. Now it's just Jared and I in this apartment to save money. We built, uh, we built um, wow. the What's podcast set in here. Yeah. That's wow. fucking awesome. Yeah. I was just going to give you the quick rundown. <laughs> um, amazing. What, what, can I ask a question though? Yeah. What was the same meal you had every night? Oh, every day. So I had these box of Cheerios. They were, they were the off brand a dollar. So that would go, that would give me probably like six days. And then I would do, um, so I could get noodles and I could get sauce both for a dollar. And then I would have that like every day. And then sometimes I w they would have a sale on chicken. It'd be a giant thing of chicken for like $3. And that would keep me going for like and three that, or four days. You just eat what the fuck you want. Unfortunately. Look at it come up. Yeah, yeah wow. I know. I'd love to see it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So we met through that. We bonded through uh, struggle. But now let's get into some red flags. All right, Indy. So I'll read this off. All right, so this guy. Is it for me? Yeah, oh, we'll go with you first. And then we'll, we'll go around. We'll go Harry second. Right. Joe. Okay. Um, this guy is a professional surfer, a park ranger. Unfortunately, he volunteers at an animal shelter because they love to euthanize dogs. So, <laughs> so that's one thing about him. All right. Uh, Jared, you want to give yours? Yeah. Um, this guy is fiercely loyal. Nice. Love that. Uh, is a night and morning person. Oh. Okay. So they're just on all the time but they have a special knife that they use to kill kittens. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like the animal theme. Uh, wow. All right. No. Don't okay, let me down. So we're going two what? Two what? Two white, two one, white red. one red. Oh, well, we meant to like, because yeah, I, yeah, it's fine. I, I, I went to the ones that I like. It makes it's more, fine. it's more <laughs> funny if you pick it that way. No, go. Yeah. All right. Um, we have, he's a yoga instructor. Nice. Loves the outdoors. Masturbates exclusively to Kid Rock. That's awesome. I mean, that's a turn on. That's my guy. Yeah. You're definitely winning sick. so far. Okay. Supportive. Nice. Is a great conversationalist. Nice. Always drinks a bottle of wine before driving. <laughs> oh. oh. Jay, woo! You're the winner. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's get. Yeah, no, do I do this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. you won. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's get Harry a girl. Yes. Is, I, th I think I'm going to win. You are? Their morning breath smells like fresh baked cookies. Oh, oh that's nice. That's Gives so you hot. multiple orgasms. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. I think you just had one. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this one's not bad in the sense for you. Post all of your sex tapes to Facebook. Oh, it's they, like, yeah, honestly. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's just it's like another stream of income. Let's go. The ad yeah. revenue on Facebook's crazy. Fuck so yeah. Yeah. I think I'm winning. Yeah. Okay. So this is the hot barista. Oh. Honest. The girl? Yeah. Oh, from TikTok? What? No, it just says the hot breed. I, I, can sure. be that girl if you want it to be. <laughs> there is one. She okay. follows me. But, anyway, sorry. Do you want her? <laughs> She's like, hold on. I got to DM her. Um, so the hot barista, honest, yeah. unfortunately, um, can only climax while watching pro wrestling. <laughs> that's that's a fun thing. That's <laughs> funny. Okay. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't kick that out of bed. Okay. There you go. So um, this girl loves to laugh. So mm. you have a great time with her. Um, she owns a time machine. Wow. That's so, fucking that's, that's almost sick. a trump card. Let's just wave the red flag though. Yeah. The red flag. Now you might be into this. Um, little adventurous. She has a literal fire crotch. What do you mean? Like it's on fire. Wow. <laughs> but you're but you're hanging out no, with but relatives. I, I did I did uh, accidentally fuck a grapefruit one time that was in the microwave for too long and that burnt my cock so Wait, it's staying in the microwave. Wait, I'm Harry, so Harry, back. Harry. <laughs> Harry. Pull that back. Hey, you sound like a psychopath when you say things without smiling. Okay, you understand that? So we're gonna tell the story again, and we're gonna be fun and jovial about it. Okay, 
We're not going to look in the camera and go stone cold eyes and then tell us that you had sex with a fruit. So go again. No, no. So obviously I was young. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, not obviously. Thing. Not obviously because you didn't bring it up, but I hear you. Well, I didn't have five time to explain the story. <laughs> <laughs> no, my parents, like, they left and they had a grapefruit tree. And um, I was just like, I remember seeing it online. Like, if you warm a grapefruit up in the microwave, it feels like a pussy. And I was a virgin. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this. So I cut a little slit in it. And then I put it in the microwave for two minutes. And it <laughs> fucking burnt the fuck out of my car. <laughs> but I got the job done. I just want to ask one more question. Did you try it again? Yeah, yeah, no, I got the job done. <laughs> oh no, I did. I did try to get after that. That was the one because because the citrus on the burnt cock didn't go down well. God damn. What yeah. What are some other weird things that you've stuck your um, genitalia in? Uh, <laughs> whew, let me run run through the Rolodex. Yeah, yeah any yeah, single go in LA. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Anyway, anyway you're up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, you just, just well, you guys, your guys are actually kind of decent. This is. Has the best hair ever, an amazing dancer, and then collects STDs. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Dude, you, you guys can you exchange your collection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, po it's like Pokemon cards. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I love winning things. This one's for Joe. Uh, Joe. I've got a question for you, Joe. Yes. What's the weirdest thing you've ever stuck your genitalia in? Weirdest thing? Um, probably girls who don't like me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my king. Whoa. It's my king. If, 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 if you don't love me, then I just, yeah. How do you yeah. get him to that point then? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of smooth a little bit. Yeah, he point. goes, I'm smooth a little bit. He like has a drink right here. He just goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God damn. Um, um, no, yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing. I don't think I'll ever suck it in anything else. Oh, uh, well, that's good. I don't think so. I can't remember. I get really drunk. It's <laughs> well, <laughs> well that's oh, an no, awesome you also tell girls you love them. You? I do. I do. Oh, too. No. Do you really? Bad, no, no, but I actually do in the moment. It's phenomenal. No, that you was do bad love it in Dubai. No, he had his cock out. He's just, like, she was giving him head. He's like, I love you so much. Do and you then, really do that? I. I like love. No. I think it's, no, well, two it's seconds. Get her off. She left. No, no, I just, I think it's great. I think it's great to tell someone you love them. It doesn't matter in, in what scenario. Yes, it is during sex and whatever else, but I think it's nice to share love, no? It's lovely to that. share love if if it's But are you truthful. sharing are you sharing love or infatuation? Both. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you well, actually I, fall in love you know. with these women? I think because I'm, I like people really quickly. So when I get over a girl, I like her really quickly. And when mm. we when we make love, I guess it's- Do you right. get, do you get over met, that really quickly? We knew her for 30 minutes. No, oh. I miss them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every single one of them. No, you miss um, Desiree. <laughs> and her, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. She lives in LA, actually. No, shut up. Never understood my anyway, sarcasm. Let's bring her in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Joe might be the British version of me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Right. Should we do it? Okay, so down you're to first. Okay, okay, you ready? So this girl, so crazy. She's a firefighter. Oh, that's oh, quite cool. I know, it's so hot. It's sexy. Spontaneous and fun. Fuck yeah. And then the killer is she only consumes alcohol anally. <laughs> like, we talking for like a tube or like just upper a upper ass? Yeah, okay. Which is kind of fun at parties, no? It can be. It's, it's a, good a good trick. trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, here, yeah. But it, it gets annoying after the third party, you're like, oh, yeah, fuck, babe, this is with it? your parents. Can yeah. you stop it's a family it? reunion. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have told her I loved her. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> right. you're, you're a Sunday service and she pulls it out. Yeah. Who, are we, who are we picking Andy. for, Joe? Yeah. Joe. Okay. So pick your favorite a actress, model, anyone. Margot Robbie. Okay. Oh, you she's didn't have Margo to go. She's Margot Robbie. Okay. And has front row tickets to every concert. Wow. Because she's Margot That's Robbie. That's quite cool. Yeah, she's famous. <laughs> and what's the killer? Brags to everyone about being the Grand Wizard in the KKK. Oh, you can't go with that. That's just see you yeah. later. Let's, let's That's see you later. The thing. Good job, Joe. Come what did you go? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. This, this sweet, sweet girl lives on a hundred beachfront acres. Wow. <gasps> Reliable is Kim Jong Un. Oh. oh. That's kind of. I thought nice. she was a chick, no? No, what? <laughs> I wish that's what the card said, but this is King, Kim Jong Un. Well, that, so. whatever, uh. that wall, you guys know. <laughs> okay, so this wall, we're going to so go yeah. out. Racist. Harry's in for the win right racist now. Racist and dictators out. But Good also, to know. also. <laughs> racism. Let's give it to them guys. Good to know. All right, well, Sorry. maybe this girl. King okay, King this girl's a supermodel. <laughs> okay, she's okay. Like, um, right. And she cooks all your favorite foods. Yummy. So, you love food. How do you feel about babies? <laughs> is that the question on the call? Well, no, just no. like, how do you feel about I them? I think they're cool. Okay, well, she she yells fuck you at every single one that she <laughs> that's sees. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that is- That's awesome. No, uh, right, I'm gonna go, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. And the reason being is I would actually make a TikTok account for her. And every time we pass a baby, I'll just film fuck her. You. And it would just get so fucking viral. Yeah, let's take uh, the baby. Hilarious. Let's take the baby fucker. I love her. <laughs> A bit, that's a baby fucker. Well, yeah, wisely. <laughs> she sounds great. Okay. We're yeah. going to do these two and then we'll probably wrap it up. All right, Jared. Is wrap it, it up. For me? Yeah, this is for you. Okay. We could never. Never. 
Never wrap it up. No wrapping. Really? No more. Ever since the, the church thing, Harry's... Nope. You save a lot of money on condoms? No, no, I, I, I have a lot of... He has his own brand. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I never used one. But Boyfriend did. Let me know if they're good. Do you yeah. use your own condoms? Yeah, and we have we have some for my dating app as well, but they're on like lollipops. Because the dating app's called Lolly. I... I, so I, I went to go check out the the your app on the app store and I was reading some of the reviews. Oh no, what is it? And one of them just fucking cracked me up. Uh, they got really upset. Let me read this real quick. I took a screenshot of it. Um, they said the guy that I matched with on this app didn't use his real name or where he's located, <laughs> but instead used his dead brother's name. <laughs> and by now he stole my credit card numbers and he got caught on other apps for doing the same thing. Wow. Also using his dead brother's <laughs> name. It was on the Tinder swindler. <laughs> what? So, next, so that, awesome. tell Netflix. I mean, that's horrible. Five, a five star review. <laughs> was it five star review? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to find that. I was just, I cracked up. That is that. awesome. <laughs> That's a great review. All right, Joe, you're up first whenever you're ready. Can talk to animals. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, yes. Owns a hundred horses, which kind of makes oh, sense. Okay. That makes sense. That's fuck sick. yeah. Sick. However. I'll fuck her. Is allergic <laughs> to your orgasms. Oh. oh, she can push through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just give her some like Claritin Look, or something. People are allergic to dogs and cats and they sit in the it's fucking room. What? It's exactly. Exactly. I'm allergic to dogs. Yeah, there we'll just. And I got one. Yes, yeah, so you can have sex with Indy. Perfect. <laughs> um, so you'll never have to work while you date them, which is also nice. That's pretty cool. Always gives you the perfect gifts. Wow. wow. That's yeah, great. That's, that's good. a good nice. Yeah. I love a good gift. Yep. Um, uh, very big family person. Actively sleeps with their siblings. Ooh. <laughs> like actively. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Little yeah. Game of Thrones situation Which is, going on. Which could be fun. Thanksgiving is going to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> could be interesting. Okay. Uh, she has a genius level IQ. Pretty cool. Owns a real dinosaur. Wow. wow. I would love that. I love dinosaurs. I knew that would get with the guy. <laughs> uh, has a superpower and it's talking shit about you. That's cool. Yeah. It's kind of like you in LA. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this person volunteers with puppies. Oh. Um, we love her. Their kisses <laughs> cure cancer. Whoa. Wow. Get her okay. on. She sounds great. And they have sex with puppies. So <laughs> that was my, that's literally my bad card. What? Like they go together. They, wow. Whoa. So it understands why they volunteer. Okay, hold on. Okay, Joe, what was Are your you bad thing? Are you in a No, but not? think no. about the thing is- Think about unselfish she, over here. She can cure, cure cancer. cancer. Yeah, but she can cure cancer without, without you. being in a relationship Maybe with that's me. what gives her, maybe puppy- No, but imagine how famous you'll be you with the cancer cure. That's true, but- it Also sleeps with puppies. The puppy fucker. Yeah, fine, no, <laughs> that's puppies. where she gets her powers from. Yeah. What was your bad thing? Uh, it was, is allergic to your orgasms. Uh, yeah, I'm going with that one. <laughs> Just take some Claritin. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, last one. Jared, you're up first. All right, Zach, ready? This girl has the voice of an angel. Love it. Love it. She's also a really good listener. Uh, good. You like that? I, I've talked before. Uh-huh. Um, but when you guys talk, she will literally only talk about putting things in your butt. That's fun. It's, it's the only fun. conversation she'll ever have. Though. The only conversation. You know, what if I want to talk have. about? What do you want for dinner? Your asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> kind of a tough conversation. Yeah, it's like after the first time you're like, ha, that's so funny, but yeah. what do you want for dinner? Like curry in your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love curry. Spicy. It actually saves washing up dishes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of- I Would make that. a mess in the bed though. Yeah. Oh. Imagine oh. the curry going in and out of that. Ew. Oh, that would burn. Thanks for the visual, Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> um, is a vampire oh. the sexy kind? Cool. Sick. Oh, nice. Has front row seats at every sporting event. Okay, oh, this is literally, that yeah. That sold him. I love sports. Hold on. <laughs> Nipples shoot fire every time you make eye contact. Sick. That's kind of cool. Come like. On. So yeah, can you wear seconds. like sunglasses and then it's fine? Two seconds. No, like yeah, you can't ever look. Is it, is it like movies. a shh or is it just No, like it's like you you could die from that straight up. What about a fire bra? Like, like a, a fire, fireproof bra. Fireproof. Yeah. But then you'd never see the net. I think <laughs> I'm, but, but I'm, wa I'm watching like basketball all the time. This is true. Oh, yeah. True. This what? is true. And a vampire as well. Yeah, and a vampire. She never sleeps. But no. what if she makes eye contact with a basketball player and then her titties just burn the floor? There's Ooh. a lot of things I need to think about. Yeah, you're not looking around look all the corners. But <laughs> She doesn't have to go with him. No, she could just, you're dating. Come yeah, on, sorry. Go. I feel okay. quite bad for her. I guess. Yeah, this is, I mostly feel bad for so her. So you guys, <laughs> you guys have the perfect amount of physical affection. Which is kind of nice. She lives in a castle. She's wow. zero if it's Zach. Which is really cool. <laughs> and then she has murdered your entire family. <laughs> okay. 
Which is kind of <laughs> hot. <laughs> she <only> loves you. <laughs> yeah. No, how toxic is that? It's so nice. She got rid of the ones that love you and you yeah, love. Yeah, you're an edge. That's she can classic. just have you only. Classic. You have your girl. own family. All right, well, um, she always smells like fresh baked cookies. Okay. Oh. Again. Owns a successful startup. Hey. I love it. Driven. You can invest. Sells one of your organs every time you fall asleep. Hell. But, Zach, you never sleep anyway, so. That's How many organs do you have? Are you a vampire? I've got four right now. Okay. Um, he does never sleep. So. Yeah, I, I don't sleep much. I got I got a pee condition. Get up six to ten times during the night to go pee. Yeah. It's, not, it's not even a joke. Okay. So, wow. I'm, I am going to go with Joseph, though, because I, lo I love the sports. I love the vampire. Yeah. Potentially can live forever. Question, though. What happens with the boobies? Do you ever look at them or just leave it? I'm going to let you know. She's gonna bite me. I'm gonna live forever, and I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna pull, okay. I'm gonna pull a Harry. She bites him. Yeah. He becomes immortal. Therefore, he can't nothing. die from the titty fire. Ah. Wow. Good. Good. Thank you. You're smart. You're welcome. Like okay. This. Well, we're all going with that one. We're gonna end it there. Is that cool? Yep. Okay. Well, thank you so much to to Harry and his and his wiener being here, and then thank you, Joe. Thank you for reminding me of my father. Um, make sure if you stay to the end of the podcast, um, send me potential girls that uh, Harry might want to be with, and I'll yeah. send them to him. Please. Um, <laughs> and thank you guys so much. You can find their Instagram, TikTok, all their socials in the thing. And if you want to shout anything out, now's the time. Shout out. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. Allegedly. That's your bro music. And this is... Harry. <laughs> and Joe. We'll see you guys next week for another episode see of Dropout. Week. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Oh, there's music. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. That's good. I want the tea, boy. <laughs>